Hi all, this is round two of my FPV antenna test suite. In the first test, and you can find the link to this video in the video description, I focused on the transmitting side antennas, the ones that go on the drone. In this second round, I will be focusing on the receiving antennas, the ones that go on the goggles. And here they are. From right to left, we have the ZRC high gain antenna, 5.8 GHz, of course, is rated for 14 dBi gain. Then we have the True RC Sniper 2 antenna, the LHCP. This one is also rated for 14 dBi gain. This one is another antenna from TrueRC, it's the XR, and this one isn't exactly a long range antenna like the others. It has a slightly more, uh, a slightly less gain, but this one has a much wider beam, more indicated for mid range flights where you have to move sideways and not only in the straight line. Then there is the ProDrone 12 turn helical antenna. Okay, this one is also rated for 15 dBi gain. And last but not least, the Evergreen stock antenna. This one is my test equipment. I have uh, already used it in my first round of tests. It's a microphone stand uh, with some 3D printed parts uh, and uh, uh, three connectors are used by the stock antennas. And the fourth one, this is where I will uh, change uh, swapping uh, the antennas that I'm going uh, to be test. And uh, for, each for each test, uh, I will record 60 seconds of video and uh, uh, then I will uh, um, swap the top left and the right left connectors and I will make another 60 seconds of video. In this way, I will not uh, just test uh, the antenna performance, but uh, I will also try to see if there is uh, any difference between the top connector and the bottom connector because uh, it seems uh, that for uh, DJI goggles V1 version, which is this one, uh, that uh, the low, the bottom connector is only receiving whilst the, uh, the top connectors is uh, both transmit and receiving. So it makes sense that uh, you put your best antenna on the bottom so it will always receive at a full rate and your second best antenna here on the top. I will, I will make for each antenna uh, the test on both positions and see if uh, something uh, will change. Uh, the cables used to connect the goggles to my sort of ground station are two meters long. I know that there is uh, a considerable uh, loss uh, in the signal uh, and thank you to RC Shim for pointing this out but uh, uh, for this test uh, we are just interested uh, in the absolute uh, in uh, in the differences of the bitrate between antenna and, uh, and not in the absolute values of the bitrate as in the first test i will put uh, the receiving device uh, on one corner of my house and the transmitting device, which is, of course, a drone on another angle with lots of rooms and concrete between them, I will try to point the receiving antennas exactly to the transmitting ones, so to, to be as fair as possible in the test and see what happens. Let's go do the test. 
So the tests have been done and I am letting uh, the uh, eight uh, uh, recordings uh, loop uh, in the background of, uh, of the video. Uh, you can see the ranking in, uh, on your screen. Uh, the first uh, uh, antenna for performance is the True RC Sniper with uh, 33.6 megabit of average, then we have the ZRC flat panel with 30.3, then the ProDrone Helical 12 turn at 27.2, the 2RC XR 25.7, and the stock antenna which did not perform so, perform so badly with 24.2. My considerations is that uh, if you check uh, each recording uh, uh, for, for each antenna with, uh, uh, con when connected to the bottom left connector of the goggles and the upper, upper left connector, I cannot uh, really find any significant uh, and uh, constant uh, uh, systematic uh, change between uh, those values. Sometimes uh, it's best uh, uh, in the upper connector, sometimes in the lower. So this is not the kind of test uh, to, to check which connector, the, the top or bottom, is the best. I will do a more specific uh, test uh, another time. But uh, uh, performance-wise, uh, I think that we have a clear winner here, which is the True RC Sniper, which really stood uh, among all the others. And that would be my recommended uh, antenna uh, for, uh, for long-range flights. Uh, I was quite disappointed by the ProDrone uh, Helical uh, 12 turn uh, with just uh, 27.2, but maybe I'm missing something. Uh, there may be some, uh, some, uh, how do I say, some other factors uh, to take into account. Uh, which influenced the, the test for the helical. Uh, so I will give it another chance when I make another test in the next few weeks. I will receive some new antennas that I bought and among those antennas there will be another helical, this one with an amazing 16 turn and we will see if the numbers will be the same or uh, there will be something different. Thank you for watching, uh, stay tuned and have fun!